Manello. Here are the four best types of leg exercises for complete strength and injury prevention. Now I'm just holding light dumbbells for demonstration purposes. You could use barbells, lots of different equipment. So first we have a knee bend, which would be something like a squat, barbell squat, dumbbell squat, dumbbell front squat, or something like a lunge with a more upright torso, or something like a step up. We also have a hip hinge where it's less knee bending, more hinging forward. This could be done on a single leg, exercises like that. Next, to complement those two, again, these are in no particular order, you wanna do something for knee flexion, which is bending your knee, and you wanna do something for knee extension. Now, the obvious versions of those would be the machines. Uh, leg extension or seated leg extension or leg curl machine. But let's say you're not training in a situation where you have access to those pieces of equipment. For knee flexion, it's knee bending or hamstrings. I just need an NT loop. You can attach it into a door anchor if I'm at home or to a stable object if you're at the gym. And here's your seated leg curl. No machine needed. Same thing for knee extension. That's the quadriceps, and I'll explain why these are important and why they're not just non-functional isolation exercises. Moving from here, you're strengthening a different part of your hamstring than when you bend at your knee. And there's some research on athletes that shows doing just hip hinge movements without knee flexion movements can decrease performance and make you more susceptible to hamstring related injuries. Same thing, and there's research on this as well, from performance all the way to ACL rehab, on your quadriceps, that exercises like squats and lunges and single leg squats, squats, they hit a certain part of your quadricep, but neglect another part of your quadricep. And that part of your quadricep is really important to decelerate you, like you're playing tennis, to chase a ball, or you have to stop and change direction, playing recreational basketball, or just taking a jog with friends, you name it. So for better performance, to prevent the preventable injuries, and better muscular development all around, those are your big four for lower body. Your two compound movements, your hip hinge, your knee bend, and your two isolation movements to fill in the strength gaps. Knee flexion, knee extension. Go to the Human Kinetics website to get your copy of my new book, Strength Zone Training, to learn the best exercises and the best workouts for complete muscle development.